She's your first slayer, I take it. If you're questioning my qualifications. No, I'm not. Oh, he's not allowed to question it, but you can just like trash on him every two seconds. I must say, Mr. Giles, good show. Oh, oh, shoot. See, I knew this lady was a piece of... Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today, I'm reacting to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season three, episode seven. So this has been quite the season up until this point. I have been really enjoying it. And so far, I feel like a lot of the episodes seem to not only be connected, but I feel like we're, we're planting the seeds for what is going to happen later in the season. I, I don't know exactly how many episodes there are. I think around 20, but six in, you know, def I know we're less than halfway through. So I, I still think we're kind of in the first act of the season, if that makes sense. And that just really excites me because I... There's a lot of different things going on at the same time, a lot of complexity between the relationships of the characters, and a lot of things that I'm not I'm not too hopeful about. I mean, one of the main ones is Angelus and how all of that is going to play out this season. I mean, it it doesn't get much worse than sending your lover to hell, which was the culmination of that character dynamic in the last season, but I don't know what it is. I'm just not optimistic about Buffy and Angelus. Let me just put it that way. And then, of course, you know, we just we have so many things going on. I'm not going to be able to recap everything, but Xander and Willow, that's a big one that's just standing out in my mind. And it's tough. I, I like it for a couple of reasons. I don't like it because I think that Xander and Willow are better than that. But I like it because it feels very true. It, it feels very realistic. It, and... It's just another thing that highlights how imperfect all the main characters of this show ultimately are, which makes them feel more real, which, you know, makes the show a better show, at least in my opinion. You know, I definitely appreciate that type of thing. But, you know, my, my girl Cordelia, you know, I, I can't help but feel so sad for her. And then, you know, my guy Oz, like, come on. And it's just it's it, it is hard to watch. I hope they don't get caught and that they come clean. I guess that would be at least one thing to hold on to, but it wouldn't surprise me if this is the end of Xander and Cordelia's relationship. If this is the breaking point, I would not blame Cordelia at all. I wouldn't blame Oz at all either, though, for breaking up with Willow. I feel like he might be able to look past it. But we'll see where, where everything happens. Uh, I mean, I have no idea. This episode could be completely different. I mean, last episode, <laughs> dream come true with how Snyder behaved. Snyder, Joyce, and Giles. I mean, that is how many... The rewatchability factor of last week's episode is got to be up there with one of the top episodes of Buffy of all time. I mean, it's not my favorite episode of all time, of course, but it it is one that I would have a fun time rewatching. Um, you know, maybe, maybe one day, but, but anyways, I've been talking more than enough. Uh, if you do want to watch the full unedited reaction as always, that's up on Patreon. And of course, next week's reaction is also out on Patreon for early access. Thank you to everyone who supports in that way. And let's just get into the episode. Buffy the Vampire Slayer season three, episode seven. I mean, they're good. They, you know, they have a good band. They should be proud of that. What, I just like you. And that's very beautiful. I think it's great when two people like two people. Oh, it's so obvious. It's so obvious. Here, here. Yeah, well put. Hey, can I snag a sip? Hey, you sure. Got it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Speaking of people and things they do that aren't like usual, anyone notice Buffy acting sort of different? You're one to talk, Willow. You were acting so different. When your last study killed half the class and then your rebound guy sends you a dumpogram, it makes a girl shy. <laughs> See, Cordelia understands. How about your new boyfriend who we made up? This was a topic of discussion. Oh, raised, but never discussed. <laughs> Oz is like, I said nothing. Really? Who? 
Yeah, what's up? Hey, time to motivate. Really, we're just good friends. <laughs> Way to go, Faith. Giles, now you have two students to observe and give notes to. Oh, come on. Come on. They timed it together and everything. That's pretty great. Sloppy. Leave blind sides open and uh, for a school night's laying. Take entirely too much time. Who the heck is this? Who the hell are you? Gwendolyn Post. Mrs. Your new watcher. Oh, okay. Okay. That's That would make sense that there'd be a replacement. G Giles. <laughs> Oh, Giles. She looks pretty hardcore, and that is not Giles' style whatsoever, so I feel like there's going to be some conflict. I wonder if she'll be a cool watcher, though. You know, is this going to be like Kendra, like we just need to warm up to her? Or is it going to be, you know, more of a Snyder character who's causing problems? Either one could be interesting. I'm telling you, I don't need a new watcher. No offense, lady, I just have this problem. You, it's not up to you. I don't think it's up to you, Faith. It's finest... A cult reference collection. This side of the Atlantic, I'm sure. Do you have Hume's Paranormal Encyclopedia? Oh, don't get all judgy just because you come from some big Watcher corporate organization and Giles has been making do with what he has. Excuse me, Mary Poppins, you don't seem to be listening. Faith. <laughs> I like how she calls her Mary Poppins. <laughs> is that even an insult? I mean, Mary Poppins is pretty awesome. Report on the entire situation here, including you. Mm. Okay, since when are watchers watching watchers? The council just doesn't let it, just they just have a thing for Giles. To American. Me? Him? Giles to American lady. What do you propose? Well, if it's not too radical a suggestion, I thought we might kill him. Okay, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll warm up to Gwendolyn right now. I'm a big thumbs down. I don't like her judgy vibe at all. Action all superior. She's been here for like two seconds. At some point, the exact location of the tomb would be useful. But then we cannot ask for miracles. Oh my gosh. Like, someone get rid of her, okay? Bring some vampires in. <laughs> that was bracing. It's like when it's like when you work a job and you have a cool manager and then that manager leaves and then another manager comes in who wants to change everything the first day and is also just annoying. That's what it's like. I mean, I am glad Buffy is spending time despite the busyness of her schedule and her double lives, you know, helping out our boy Angel here. Who would have thought yoga was the way to redeem yourself post hell? Are we going to have a little rekindling going on? I mean, he does have his shirt off for exercise. <laughs> I mean, all the feelings are there, of course. Somebody figures out what we're doing. What are we doing? Training. And I'm almost kissing. It's complicated. Bad, bad. Habit to be broken. It's not hard. Cold turkey. It's a key to quitting. Good luck. Good luck, teenage <laughs> teenage hormones. <laughs> Lagos. Some demon looking for some all-powerful thingamabob, and I gotta stop. Him. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. And it's another Tuesday night, sunny day. He's a valuable source. Be careful. That's all? I feel like you knew you knew something else from your reaction, Angel. If there's information you're holding on to, spit it out, dude. You're not the watcher of me. Then go home, but if you choose to stay, then work. See, even Giles has lost his good attitude because this lady is so annoying. Wait, I'm tired. I think we can have two slayers. I don't know if we need two watchers. That's just my opinion. I swear you guys need to stop this whole thing. See, it's like this. This right here is where you're already crossing the line. It doesn't need to go to kissing. You're, you can't be this intimate when you're dating other people. Willow, come on. Willow, is that Sandra? You can stop your uh, studying. What I need. Did he not notice? Yeah, that's that uh, big one over at the Restfield Cemetery. Yeah, well, that's great, Joel. Some... I mean, he is completely not paying attention because they have the worst poker faces. Studying, I think we're on the verge of a big Lagos breakthrough. I'd say we're done. 
<laughs> he's so distracted. I mean, that's so in character when he's like researching something. Steve Klepto, Kenny Drummer. What's wrong with Drummer? I just had to face up to my destiny as a loser magnet. Oh, come on. Is that his only bad trait? He's a drummer? Trust some guys. Really, I've read about <laughs> Buffy. I don't need another babysitter. I'll holler if I'm having any fun. I don't know. What if something goes wrong? I'm concerned. She's still a new slayer, Buffy. Like, you're still kind of showing her the ropes. Yeah, look how strong this guy is. Please be smart, Faith, and know you can't take this person on by yourself. There's no shame in asking for backup. Okay, at least he didn't go after her. He seems set on his mission alone. Why don't I alleviate my guilt by going out and getting myself really, really killed? Xander, even you know it's a bad idea, so don't do it. <laughs> Of all the people to discover Angel, the worst one is Xander. The worst one. Good thing Xander doesn't have super strength or he'd probably try to kill Angel right now. Is he still going to? I mean, I guess if he sneaks up on him, he might get lucky, but come on, Xander. Oh, wow. The drama. The drama intensifies, I swear. I mean, of course, of course. But look, I'm rooting for them so much, I'm kind of happy. Like, I kind of want them to get back together. <laughs> like, it's no more complicated than it was before. Wherever this was gift wrapped, remind me not to shop there. <laughs> glove of Minigon. How did he get it? When she put it on, the glove can never be removed. Okay, I know someone's gonna get stuck. You hold on to it, I'll, I'll tell Giles in the morning. You guys better protect that well. I swear, if it gets stolen... Based, I believe, on very sketchy and unreliable folk legends. The pictures are fun to look at, Mr. Giles, but one really ought to read the nice words as well. Oh my gosh, lady. It's not like Giles is like sitting around watching TV. He's like a stuffy librarian himself, okay? And he's very smart. It's like, you are all condescending. That doesn't make you intelligent. A person slips up on the little things, and soon everything's gone to hell in a handbasket. For example, Buffy. Oh what, the Slayer who saved the world multiple times? What did your Slayer ever do? I am in complete control of my Slayer. Giles! With a big problem. You'll excuse us. It's okay. We don't need to win the approval of this lady. She's unpleasant. Who cares what she thinks? <laughs> like some assistance. Thank you. It won't be necessary. <laughs> I love the way you smiled and delivered that line. I don't blame you. If the whole end of the world was at stake, I still would never ask her for assistance. What's with all the tragedy masks? Better take a seat, Buffy. Oh, great. They're all going to be, like, confrontational to Buffy. But you know what? I can understand why she would hide that from them. I think you're harboring a vicious killer. This isn't about attacking Buffy. I swear, Xander. Better for how long, Buffy? I mean, did you even think about that? What is this? Demons Anonymous? <laughs> I, I just wanted to wait. For what? For Angel to go psycho again the next time you- Xander, you're literally cheating on your girlfriend right now. Shut up. But you were kissing him. You were spying on me? Yes. Yes, he was. What gives you the right? What gives you the right to suck face with your demon lover again? She can do whatever she wants. She saved the world, okay? Never put you in any danger. If I thought for a second that Angel was going to hurt anyone... You would stop him. Like you did last time with Miss Calendar. Oh my gosh. Okay, I... I cannot believe he's saying that. That is such BS. She literally did. She literally did the last season. She showed she, what she's willing to do. Look, you guys, he's the one that found the glove of Minigun. He's keeping it safe for us in the mansion. Right. Great plan. The firepower with the scary guy and leave us to clean up the mess. As opposed to you, Xander, who did nothing. I think lots of dead people actually constitutes a reason. Right. This is all nobility. I mean, this has nothing to do with jealousy. I hope Xander gets turned to a vampire and then he sees what it's like. And her actions, however ill-advised can be understood. Okay, good. Thank goodness Giles understands. I want to be back to classics. 
I like how Oz also like shows restraint and doesn't just step in with all this BS. Oh, this is literally annoying to watch. <laughs> but Angel did find the glove, and that was a, a good. I won't remind you that the fate of the world often lies with the Slayer. What will be the point? You have jeopardized the lives of all that you hold dear by harboring a known murderer. The angel tortured me for hours. You should have told me he was alive. You didn't. You have no respect for me or the job I perform. Dang. I... But see, that's the way to express yourself, because he didn't say that in front of everyone. He said that privately to Buffy, and after everything that Angelus put him through, I really can't blame him. He was tortured, and he killed his love. Like, of course Giles can't separate Angel and Angelus. That's how she opens the door? <laughs> Hope you don't order a pizza there, Faith. So, this is your home. Yeah. I can't wait to hear what snide comments she has to say about the interior decorating. Do you know who the Spartans were? Wild stab a bunch of guys from Sparta. Don't pretend like you're a Spartan, lady. The Spartans are way cooler than you. You will probably hate me a great deal of the time. You think? But I will make you a better slayer. And that will keep you alive. I mean, that that is a reasonable perspective. We just don't need all the condescending attitude towards Giles. His methods are unfathomable to me. I find him entirely confounding. Let him have his games and secret meetings. What meetings? Oh, I don't know. Something with Buffy and her friends. Oh, she did that on purpose. She did it on purpose to make Faith feel like she's an outsider. How much are you hating me right now? You were scared. You kept a secret, you know? That's, it's, it's okay. Oh, but I feel like I actually like Willow's understanding, except the only reason she's saying that is because she can relate with her own affair. Well, Angel has the glove now, right? Yep. Someone's gonna steal it. Someone's gonna steal it. Ah, but instead he finds a Buffy in a not-so-good mood. It's my brilliant plan. That's good, except I feel like we need to have 24-7 surveillance over Angel's hideout. You look pissed. Rough day. Don't think I don't know what you and your pals were talking about behind my back today. Yeah, what was that? Xander's gonna tell everything. Angel's still alive. Took two seconds. The vampire. Back in town, saw myself. She better not tell her watcher and then go after him herself. I can't believe her. She says he's clean. Yeah, well, I said we can't afford to find out. Oh my gosh, Faith, come on. You owe your friendship to Buffy to talk to her first. A good watcher must be awake and alert at all hours. Oh, really? You sleep with your eyes open, lady? You never sleep? You never turn on the TV ever? Like, you're not Miss Perfect, please. She's your first slayer, I take it. If you're questioning my qualifications. No, I'm not. Oh, he's not allowed to question it, but you can just like trash on him every two seconds. I must say, Mr. Giles, good show. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, see, I knew this lady was a piece of- I can't believe you asked Ramona out after I specifically told you not to do that. How are you doing that with your mouth? <laughs> This episode is just nonstop disaster. It is this disaster, then this disaster, then this disaster. Like, what else is going to go wrong? So now that my secret angel, it's all out in the open. Is Willow going to confide in Buffy? Because she feels so guilty. This big burden's been lifted. And keeping secrets is a lot of work. One could hypothetically imagine. I mean, Buffy has to be able to tell that Willow has a secret. It makes you think all this secret stuff is sexy anyway. Nothing. They're just wondering. Gotta keep asking the big old questions. Okay, Buffy, please tell me you can see through this cover because Willow is so obviously guilty. I want you to be the first to know that that there's a demon behind you. Oh, wow. Oh, and this guy's so strong. Ah! <laughs> Willow's just standing there. I mean, what could she do against this monster? Ah! Buffy, it might be time to call a retreat. Now we're talking. Forget I said anything. That was amazing. Too strong for Faith, but not too strong for Buffy. What were you saying? Oh, I... I opened my SAT test book up five minutes early. Just doesn't seem important, <laughs> does it? 
<laughs> Come on, Buffy. Tell me you can perceive more than that. <laughs> oh, Willow. I wish Willow had told her there. And weapons. Beauty. I call crossbow. You got it. See, Xander's excited about this, and because he's so emotionally invested in, An you know, in Angelus, I can understand some arguments for wanting to kill him, but I don't think he's doing it for the right reasons whatsoever. Think a minute. Yeah, I'm thinking. Thinking Buffy's ex meat did this. It's not Angel style. How much more proof do you need? A bite marks would be Faith, don't you know what vampires do? They don't knock people out and leave them. Screw this way to crap. Oh my gosh. Faith, if we leave, Giles could die. Wait! For what? You to grow a pair? You handle the babysit, and I'm gonna kill Angel. Come on, Faith. I know you're not as close with Giles as the rest of them, but you should prioritize saving his life. This is ridiculous. Wait, what the heck are you doing here? Is he trying to destroy it? What happened? No time for this. Wait. No, let G Giles tell her. Tell her. Use living flame. Come on, hurry. Let's go. What happened? Boyfriend's not as cured as you thought. Xander, you literally know it's not Angelus. What did you tell her? Only what everyone knows. She's a big girl. Can't draw conclusions. Shut up and help me. At least Willow is the right attitude. Like, it's too late for discussing. Gwen Post, Mr. Giles sent me. Don't trust her. If you're performing the ritual incorrectly, it will only make the glove more powerful. Don't trust her. Come on, Angel. Please tell me you have enough common sense in the trunk. That's what I love about this town. Everyone's so helpful. I Come on, Angel. I feel like you should know better. Like, you don't know her. You're just gonna show up, you're gonna trust her because she throws the name Giles around? Maybe he lied. Maybe it's not in the trunk. In which case, I'll give him some credit. Okay. That hurt. It was supposed to kill you. But I believe this is your poison. Okay, good. Please tell me he can beat her. I mean, if she's just human, he should be able to. Oh, and she... I believe how much I'm gonna kill you. You're not getting that glove. You wanna bet? Come on, Angelus, let's go. I mean, Angel, it's not Angelus. Jeez, she's got some Buffy moves going on here. That was so close. I'm surprised she was able to beat him that easily. You're confused, Twinkie. Let me clear you up, vampires. Give her the benefit of the doubt. A lot that you don't understand. Faith, she doesn't know. Are you going to trust this lady you met for one day over Buffy, who's become your friend? Faith, we can figure this out. I mean, I feel like Buffy should be able to defeat her. She's been training for so much longer. It's, I mean, it's like watching Avengers Civil War. I swear, if they actually attack Buffy and, like, help Faith defeat her, I am going to be so upset at them. Guys, listen! Seriously, Faith? You're just chucking your friends around now? Come on, Willow, notice her evil smile. Not oh, too late. Tell me it's going to be a trap for her because she doesn't understand how it works. Yes, I mean, she's completely right. <laughs> well, she like Doctor Doom now? She can just shoot lightning? Yeah, but he literally is saving their lives now. I'm getting that. Oops, you lost your glove. Jeez. Well, how absolutely splendid. Okay, if everyone doesn't apologize to Buffy right now, I'm still going to be pretty upset. <laughs> Sounds like we missed a lot of fun. Then we're telling it wrong. <laughs> Oddly enough, your boyfriend. Again. <laughs> I like how Oz just straight up tells her. Are we cool? Yeah. I'm surprised you're not more upset at him. Kicked out by the council a couple of years ago for misuses of dark power. Well, jeez. A little more damage control. 
Faith owes Giles an apology for just leaving him there. Whoever she may be, it had us all fooled. You can't trust people. I should have learned that by now. That's what you're taking away from everything that happened? I realize this is going to sound funny, coming from someone that just spent a lot of time kicking your face. But you can trust me. And you should have. If you had, none of this would have happened. I'm on your side. I'm on my side. And that's enough. Not always. Is that it? Yeah, I guess. All right. Well, then I'll see you. Well, nothing like making mistakes and not learning afterwards. A Buffy. I mean, I get it. She's clearly someone who has a difficult time trusting people and a hard time apologizing. I can understand that, but it's disappointing to see. I mean, you can tell she knows she was wrong. Like, in her heart, she clearly does. But, all right. I mean, what an episode. What an episode. Talk about drama and just very very eventful and, and i liked it i i feel like my attitude towards this episode was pretty negative and i look i'll be honest i have some strong feelings about character choices in this episode and i feel like there was a lot of that happening um but still like i can step outside of that and look at the story and the drama unfolding and the conflicts going on and the complexity of it all, and I really, really like it. I mean, just as the storyline, like having Gwendolyn Poe, she was actually a great one-off villain. She really was, because she had me fooled. I Like, she didn't come across as so sinister that I distrusted her to the point where, I mean, I had a little suspicion. I was like, oh, maybe she's evil. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but, but not strong enough. Like, I was still surprised that she was actually on the side of darkness, you know, trying to take over the world or whatever. But it was cool. It, it was just cool seeing Giles kind of, kind of having to deal with what Buffy has dealt with when a new Slayer comes in town. I would say to a more extreme degree, I mean, obviously, but just seeing Gwendolyn come in and she, like, she was annoying. She annoyed the heck out of me, obviously. Obviously, I kept talking about it, and I'm glad that my instincts were validated ultimately with her being evil. But it, it it's amusing. Like it was it was a cool thing seeing all the characters having to deal with that, and you know Giles kind of question how he's been behaving as a Slayer, and I think that that kind of tied into what he said to Buffy about how you don't respect me. I think. I think he would have said something very similar to Buffy without Gwendolyn, but I think having her being all proper and strict and judgmental emphasized to him and maybe made him feel like maybe things are too casual and they don't respect me enough. Um, and I really liked that scene. In fact, that moment was probably my favorite moment of the whole episode with that conversation because I was so happy with what buff with how giles communicated to buffy under those circumstances and i actually think if any character yes he's an adult so he should have more perspective but i don't know i i just think like if you have someone kill your girlfriend who you love deeply and then on top of that personally tortures you i really can empathize with the impossible task of separating those actions, even though, even if you can logically, emotionally, and psychologically, I could see that not being possible. And despite all those challenges of Giles, he still, like in front of her friends, Giles supported Buffy. And then he took the time privately to tell her how disappointed he was, how he didn't feel respected, how this was reckless. And he did even that in a very calm way. Like that is a great, in my opinion, a great type of mentor because that is not easy to do. And that is a critical difference. It's one of the reasons why in episode two of this season, I was so upset at Joyce. It's like, okay, so you had a few drinks. I can understand maybe you getting upset and not being super calm, communicating with Buffy, and a lot of her frustrations I could also empathize with. But to do that in front of all her friends, like, at the party, I'm like, that is a totally different thing, and that's just crazy, you know. But let's talk about what I'm sure a lot of people, I feel like people are going to have mixed opinions. I don't think everyone is going to agree with my take, but and I'm sure my take won't be that much of a surprise for anyone who's watched my reaction so far. I've kind of seen my basic response and mindset to everything going on, but 
I was not happy with Xander this episode. I was not happy with Cordelia this episode. And I was not happy with Faith this episode. I mean, all three of them disappointed me big time. Willow, um, you know, like I mentioned before we watched this episode, uh, her and Xander is a thing they're going to have to deal with. And she came so close to coming clean to Buffy. (sighs) But something about the degree of guilt that Willow feels makes me feel more forgiving towards her. Not that that justifies what she's doing to Oz. It's, look, I think most people will be in agreement. Like, cheating is wrong. Like, you can say you're young, you're a teenager, you're dumb. Like, there's some things you can say that makes it less of a mistake than if you do it when you're older or, you know. But but I, I just, just seeing how absolutely torn up Willow is does make me at least know that, you know, like... She, she's not being callous about it, and she clearly knows what she's doing is wrong and feels remorse for it. Ho- I'm hoping that she eventually has the courage to come clean and apologize and tell everybody because they, you know, you owe it to that, especially especially with a guy like Oz. Come on. But Xander, I mean, Cordelia, she, she was less involved, and I also feel like she's less close to Buffy and, um, you know. I have to admit she has a special place in my heart, so I feel like I'm less upset with her, you know, not having that that um, understanding with Angel and Angelus. But I'll just break it down like this. I've said this before, so anyone who's who's followed these reactions, but from how it's been explained to me thus far is that we've got Angel over here, we've got Angelus over here, and... Every time I've seen Angel, you know, Angel doesn't have control over whether, you know, when Angelus takes over, it's not like Angel is present in the same way. And he's, you know, consciously making these choices to murder people like Angel would never have killed Jenny. Angelus does. And when Angel is Angel, it's not like the demon goes away, but he fights against it. And because he has a conscience and his full um, mental faculties are present, he's able to, even despite having a demon living inside him, fight against those urges and that tendency. And like I said, I, I feel like if we had seen Angel snap while being Angel and kill someone because he got hungry one night or he lost his temper, then I could understand a lot more of the apprehension and attitude, this coldness towards Angel. But... And yes, Buffy is blinded by her emotions and her passion for Angel. So I understand it's not like she is making the smart decision. And I I don't even think, I think they have every right to be upset with Buffy for hiding the fact that Angel is back. Like, I don't think that was wise. That was very foolish. But I would say similar to her reasons for running away, I would say I can understand fully why Buffy would do that and I can even see there being some arguments for that being the smart decision and the biggest reason why I could defend Buffy's choice to hide Angel's existence from the rest of the gang is look what happened the second they find found out were they understanding were they reasonable or did they immediately try to go and kill him which I mean does that not prove Buffy at least partially right like I mean, I have been, dis- this is the biggest thing that I feel like is just, it keeps disappointing me with Xander's behavior, is he just can't get over his jealousy of Angel. And it's like, what needs to happen for that, him to overcome that barrier? Because, like, if you're fr- a, fr- a true friend to Buffy, even if you personally, like, hate Angel, and maybe he rubs you the wrong way, you're jealous of him, you're like, look, Angelus commits these horrible deeds. Objectively, having Angel around is a liability. So I am not comfortable with him. Let's kill him. But if you're a true friend to Buffy, out of friendship to her, you should not only respect her feelings for him, but you should be able to understand her perspective of Angel not being guilty of the horrible crimes that Angelus commits. Like, I just, I think if you're a true friend and you actually care in a selfless way for the other person, you will be able to set aside your personal feelings and out of respect to your friend, consider the person that they love, right? I I don't think that's that difficult to do. Uh, Let me rephrase that. I'm not saying it wouldn't be incredibly difficult to do, but 
especially with Xander, who it's not like Angel killed his girlfriend. You know, it's not like we were an Inca mummy girl and they were about to live happily ever after and then Angela showed up and killed her. That's why I feel like for Giles, I can understand if it's just impossible to separate those things. But it's like, Xander, you weren't Jenny's best friend, you know? You're upset because you're still, while having an affair, while dating Cordelia, obsessed with Buffy to the point that you can't, you know... Make the right choice. And I feel like I would feel very different if Xander was sticking with logical facts when he, you know, put his foot down for not accepting Angel. If he was calm about it and explained, like, look, objectively, every time something goes wrong, it's a danger to humanity, then I would completely have a different opinion. But the way he's presenting it, at least how I see it, and I love to hear if people have other thoughts or opinions. I feel like, like I said, I feel like there are going to be a lot of different opinions than mine on this episode, I would imagine. But he's not. Like, the, the way he's going about it, you know, he's so angry and bitter. It, it really just feels like a petty um, grudge and jealousy and in the worst type of way. So that's, you know, I guess why it was just so disappointing for Xander. And then Faith, <laughs> it was good in a way because... I feel like a lot of Faith's action to a degree were set up by her previous like character traits. And especially, particularly, I think what helped, what set her down, her course of actions, what was critical to that was finding out that all the rest of them knew something and she was left out of the loop. I think that really just hit home with her and made her feel like an outsider and not like a true friend. And then that, you know, kind of triggered maybe her her issues with trust in general and um you know then she's just like okay forget it but it is very difficult for me to understand <laughs> heat of the moment emotions backstory all taken into account you know when giles is in a horrible way you know possibly gonna die you just quit leave him there with xander you know I, that just rubbed me the wrong way for her to be willing to just walk away from Giles and be like, heck, handle it on your own. And it's not like, you know, she seemed super conflicted about it and was like, oh, shoot, I have to weigh the 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 priorities of the greater good over Giles in that moment. Like she seemed to not be that invested in his well-being. And I just feel like that's kind of sad to see considering, A, how great of a person Giles is, but you know, how much they've all kind of welcomed her and accepted her as the newcomer. Just doesn't feel like um, returning the favor whatsoever. And then I also, it's frustrating. And, and I think to me, at least, it's very different than like Kendra facing off with Buffy. It's like Kendra showed up, had no idea what was going on. She goes to kill Angel. Like very similar response to what Faith did. Like, right, if we just look at it as like writing on paper. But Kendra, you know, the second she kind of understood the extent of what Angel did, and she wasn't even friends with Buffy, right? Like, she's just showing up as a stranger. She's very hardcore about it. But the second she actually bonded with Buffy, and then the second she saw the way she was, re you know, Buffy was acting around Angel and trying to save him, she very quickly realized, like, okay, I don't understand the full picture, and I've spent enough time with Buffy, even in a very short amount of time, to kind of trust her judgment and realize that she may have a different style than me, but she really is someone whose opinion goes a long way and has had some experience doing this job. But, you know, what we've seen, and I've been so happy to see over the past, you know, a couple episodes, like since Faith has showed up, in episode three, Buffy and Faith, I feel like developing that friendship and it becoming stronger and more genuine. And I'm like, this is great. Like, and of course, you see that in the first half of the episode, them fighting side by side. And thematically, that's very cool. Like having that that stark difference from the beginning of the episode to the end. Like, that's why I said, like, I think this is a great episode, even though there are a lot of frustrating in world choices going on. But like as television, I think this is great. This is one of my favorite episodes of the season so far. But I just, like, to trust, to trust some random lady who shows up on one day and even to, like, see Xander, who it doesn't take a genius to realize that, you know, he's being very emotional and acting very angry. Like, 
how difficult is it to kind of connect the dots and be able to, t- to you know, understand maybe he's not thinking too clearly in this moment. Um, and for her to, especially when Buffy is literally there telling her, you know, exactly the truth, like it's a complicated situation. You don't understand everything for her to not even be willing to communicate with Buffy, but to fight Buffy, which because of that, they leave, you know, lady, what's her name? I'm blanking on her name, Gwendolyn. That She's leaving Gwendolyn Post gives her the opportunity. And because she has such a poor trust whatsoever in Buffy, like she, she just trusts this random stranger before Buffy, who, you know, it's a new friendship. It's budding. It's in the early stages, but they have a friendship like come on and on top of that you know that Buffy has been the slayer so much longer than her like give her a little credit for her experience and I know in the heat of the moment like I I do know like Faith is inexperienced you know like I said she has a lot of baggage she has trust issues she was upset feeling left out of the gang but I still think that it's just it's just a demonstration of some extremely extremely poor judgment and that's just disappointing to see and then especially that scene at the end I mean from a dramatic perspective, I did really like it. I like how Buffy, you know, despite their disagreement and their fight, like so quickly she goes to kind of make peace with a friend and to say, you know, no hard feelings. And honestly, I would be more understanding if Buffy was like holding a grudge against, you know, here it is your friend and you're pleading with them. Listen, you don't understand. And they don't even trust you enough to like pause for one second. They immediately are willing to just fight you. And then, like, she good thing Buffy showed up when she did. If she had shown up two seconds later, she, she would have literally staked Angel in the heart and killed him. I mean, what would we be at then? You know, what is Faith going to say? Oops, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't trust you and therefore I killed your, your boyfriend in cold blood and allowed this, you know, Gwendolyn lady to take over the world. I just, I mean, just seeing that type of behavior just to me hammers home. I'd be like, yeah, Faith is not like, thank goodness she is not the the slayer by herself, because I, I can't off the top of my head think of an example of that poor judgment from Buffy, at least in my opinion. Like I said, these are strong opinions. This is just my thoughts on this episode. I've been talking a long time. I also am just fresh from seeing this, so I kind of feel like there's a lot to think about and digest with these character decisions, but love the episode. It was really, really interesting. Uh, you know, very frustrating, but in a good television type of way. And I'm very, very excited to see where we're going to go from here and how I feel like the conflicts between the characters are just going to continue to get worse. And there's going to be more drama, whether they're going to be able to mend things and make those friendships strong again, like in the same way they were. I don't know. I don't know if Willow and Oz can ever be the same even if he forgives her, like, how can you? I don't know. I don't think Xander and Cordelia will be the same. And Buffy and Xander, too. I feel like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm worried if that friendship could just go in a completely wrong direction. But I will like I am happy that Willow, you know, especially after Angel literally saved her life, was like, hey, you know, I I have a little bit of a different feeling towards him. But like I said, love to hear your thoughts about this episode down below. Uh, thank you to everyone who supports on Patreon and watch the full and edited reactions. And of course, next week's reaction is out right now if you don't want to wait for early access. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero. Hey.